minutes. Our heat index, what it really feels like outside, awfully steamy. Low 90s for a good portion of the area. 83 in Asheboro, where we have had some of that rain cold air. 85 North Wilkesboro, what it feels like in the upper 70s into Galax. But there's just a few of those isolated storms. There's not much activity out there, mainly just seeing those clouds and the clouds trying to build and looks like it wants to rain, but not amounting to a whole lot. We do have this one line trying to form down to the south there of Lexington, Moxville, trying to cross the kind of county line there and work its way off towards the north and the east. So we will be watching for that. Severe activity not looking really likely or widespread for tonight. Just a heavy downpour, may find some gusty winds and then some lightning like you can see there with any of these storms that really do get going. Even across the state, that's kind of the trend that we are seeing. We do have this warm front off towards the east and why it is so warm and tropical. Really that tropical air is also still coming from Cristobal and a lot more of that activity down from the south and the west. We will continue to see more of these scattered storms as we really go into your Wednesday, Thursday, and that is from all of this activity that's even back out towards the Midwest. You can see that cold front that is going to work its way here really Wednesday night, then into our Thursday morning. Up ahead of that, you see kind of that spin still. That's what's left over the remnants from Cristobal. So that's where all that warm, very muggy tropical conditions and sparking up a lot of even storms across the country still going on for today. Those two are really going to work their way and you can also see and just feel so much of that tropical air mass for about half of the country. You can really distinctly see that cold front back behind Dallas, Denver, the dew points into the 30s and 40s. So much more comfortable air, not the muggy tropical feeling that will finally be here for really our Thursday evening and then into your Friday. So. Just a couple more days of the very warm and muggy conditions. Along with that, we will be dry on Friday. Really the first half of your Thursday, that's when we have the rain and storm chance. That cold front crosses by lunchtime. So again, just have to get through a little bit more of those scattered storms for tonight and going forward Wednesday and Thursday. Hour by hour forecast for the rest of your evening. Again, not too much. Just seeing a few of those isolated storms pass on through and most of us staying on the dry side. That continues overnight, then into your Wednesday morning. Start with much more of that cloud cover, a lot like how we were for today. Then you kind of break it apart, see some more sunshine, start to spark up some of those storms by the afternoon, and then also into the evening. So here's where we will watch for some more of those heavier downpours. But the best really rain and storm chance, that does come for your Wednesday night. See a lot more by midnight, and then here comes that front into the early overnight hours. Out towards the west into the mountains, we start with much more of that heavier rain looking likely. If this line can hold together, then here's where we can get some good downpours. You can see the yellow, the orange, the red, really through about 7, 8 o'clock into your morning commute for your Thursday morning, 9 to 10 off towards our eastern counties. And then by lunchtime, that should start to work its way off to the east, and we are clearing, kind of drying things out back behind. Temperatures, they are still staying warm. It's much more seasonal, though, as we go into the rest of the week and into the weekend. Mainly sunny and dry for the weekend. Just an isolated shower or two on Saturday and Sunday.